Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. What's your name? I'm Trinity Charnay. Trinity, all right. And how old are you? I'm 23 years old. 23, and what do you do? I'm a government contractor, and I also help other people become government contractors. Okay, all right. And now, what are some okay. things? Okay. Like Sound like she getting to the bag, and then she helping other people get to the bags. And she slim thick, and she beautiful. You feel me? We're gonna see what she on, but hey. Put y'all cash up in the comments. Y'all already know how I do. Got another banquet for y'all today. Let's get into the video, man. Did you for fun? For fun, I really love all things creative. Mm -hmm. Anything that puts me into my creativity, I love to start there. Okay. <laughs> and now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, You have to be a man of God, first thing first. And you have to be a leader. Um, Because I'm a leader as well. You have to be able to lead. So leaders. a lot of girls out here in Arizona love God. Huh, I heard this a lot. This is like a trajectory I've seen with her show, and I know a more, majority of them is from Arizona. So, I mean, that's a good thing. So, big leader. Um, and then you have to be able to have the same mindset about providing for your woman and really just being a man of a house. Okay. And leading. That's really the things I look for in a man. Okay. And now, what are some deal breakers? Not a man of God, you gotta go. <laughs> okay. Who do you follow? <laughs> um, really, that's my, that's the main one. That's it. Okay. That's it. All right, cool. So we did get a pop balloon. Let's go on over there and see what's going on. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, so I'm Dejon, I'm 30. And it's nothing against you, it's just a 23. I'm 30. It's just a little, little too young for me. I needed like 25 and up, you know what I'm saying? Just to be in a little bit of my ballpark. But 23, I, I love the pink. That. Yeah, it I love the pink though. It says you want a mature woman. Definitely, absolutely yeah. need it, need it for sure. But you're gorgeous for sure. Nothing Thank about you. you, just the age thing. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Right. And now, um, is he someone that's your type? Um, He's handsome. And Appreciate because it. he, it seems like he's mature himself if you want a definitely. woman mature. And normally, a 23 year old, no. I for definitely sure. understand in this yeah, society. Absolutely. But. Yeah, ah, it's gone. A little quick, did that quick. Yeah, that way. I, it's, it is what it is, you know what I mean? But you're, you're, you're gorgeous, though, Thank for you. sure. I yeah, it. no doubt. Okay, all right. Let's go back over here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the guys a question to kind of help you narrow it down, see who's more of your match. Have you ever been with a black woman before? For all of them? Really? Oh. Or yeah. are you are, just what asking? What is your type? Okay. What is your type? Black, like, is, your, is black women normally your type? Okay. Let's start over here. Your name, age, and the answer to your question. My name is Caleb. I'm 27. And to answer your question, what's my type specifically? Um, I like black women, um, but I usually um, prefer uh, light-skinned women. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> your that name that was a polite way of saying I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't know why he won't pop his balloon, because she not light-skinned. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah, he just could say... You feel me? Just pop his balloon. You'd... But me personally, I like all type women. You feel me? But I prefer my wife, obviously. And what's your type? My name is Kim. I'm 27. Um, I really don't got a type, but I do love black women. Like, just being who I am, a black man, black women come first, like, no matter what. So, yeah, I love black women. I, I really don't got a type, though, but yeah, okay. black women for sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, your name and age, and answer your question. Uh, hey, I'm Dante. I'm 28. Uh, to answer your question, I don't really have a preference. Like, it's, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really have, like, a type. You just got to be, like, you can't, you can't be, like, non-athletic, put it that way. You got to do something yeah. outdoorsy, you know what I'm saying? I like to get out get active. But, I mean, yeah, I, I definitely love my black queens. You feel me? Come on now. <laughs> like I said, she's very gorgeous. Well, so, yeah. you. All right. <laughs> Your name and age and answer to her question. I'm Hendo, I'm 25, and yes, I do love black women, so. Is Hendo your real name? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> your name and age and answer to her question. Tony, 28, um, I don't have a specific preference. I do love black women, but I've dated outside of black women as well. Uh, but it just it comes down to the person. That's pretty much it. Okay. Okay. Same over here. Your name and age and the answer to your question. The one. I'm 27. All shades. I'm just gonna be real. I don't got no preference. You a black woman. You a black woman. As long as your personality, like he said, 
As long as you uh, follow structure, you good. It's pretty much it for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to have you eliminate two of the guys so far based off of, you know, what your type is and also kind of the responses you've heard so far. So let me go ahead and hand you a toothpick. And then once you pop those two, I'll go ahead and ask you why you ended up popping them. Okay, and one more. Okay, we'll start with him. All right, why did we end up popping his balloon? We already know why she gonna pop his balloon because he look like he a hair butcher. I ain't even gonna lie. You feel me? But nah, shout out to my 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 uh, shout out to my brother right here, but no cap. I mean, what's your name? That's a question. <laughs> so you work in government contracting, right? Yes. I have two. I have a TS. So certain contracts, I don't give out my full government name because I don't want that to affect my work. So I don't want. Like my I job mean, if to you're see, solid, then... it's still a government contract in military. So I come from a military background. Oh, I spent military. five years in the Air Force. I have a TS. And during my time in the military, supervisors, and they would just go like, oh, this is you. We see you on social media doing this and that. We don't like it. So it's mm -hmm. just, yeah, that's why I don't give up my full government name unless I actually know you. Okay. I feel like maybe you should like be you across the no, board. No, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'm in the military myself. I know what he's talking about, but if his issue is him being on social media and he basically, what he's saying is he don't want nobody to recognize him. Trust me, the military, I'm in the military, so I know they will go pull up this video and show you and say, is this you? You don't have to pull up your name, but I get what he's saying, but they will be like, nigga, this is you. If this is against policy, you're going to be messed up. But obviously doing something like this is not against military policy, but I get exactly what he is saying. And uh, he and he ain't wrong for it. You feel me? But I get, exa I get exactly what he's saying. If you're going to come onto social media and you can't, do and things on social work. media, they're going to find you regardless. You're right. So it's kind of like, <laughs> pick a side. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm okay with it. I'm here. No, nothing against you, though. I just feel like that was a direct answer mm. needed. That's fine. I'm okay. That's fine. Nothing against you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. And then why did we end up popping this balloon? Because you prefer a light skin. I'm black regardless. Light, dark. I'm black. And you prefer light skin. I don't know if you consider me light skin. You said, but. I prefer a light skin, so you maybe don't consider me that, and I'm not your preference. If you don't prefer me, take a step back. Hmm. Okay, I understand that, um, and how my words came off. Uh, I shouldn't have said prefer. Um, I should have just said um, I just end up with light skins a majority of the time. That's, I don't really have a specific type, but like that's the just the so type I usually. Happen. You don't make things happen. I end up with these things. I don't. Make no, uh, but I'm just saying, like, I don't go out my way. I'm saying, like, I'm just going to go look for this shade, mm -hmm. right? So it's just, I'm just saying, out of my path relationships, mm -hmm. it's usually just been a, a light skin. Mm -hmm. um, but the, um, that's just not my specific preference, though. Um, Maybe you could I, explain that a little bit better. You are very handsome. Thank you. And, but I do prefer black men, let's be for real. Thank you. <laughs> I understand that. It's respectable. Mm -hmm. You say you prefer a black man? Yes, so you're saying he's not black? I mean, like, I don't. I'm too late. Off a of first look, <laughs> off of her first look, I don't, I don't, I don't know. You explained earlier. Yes, he is. I'm black and white. I'm mixed. Okay. okay. Black and white. That's mm. good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So we are gonna go ahead and have you ask these guys another question, just to kind of help you narrow it down. Um. What do you guys do for work? I think we already got your name and age, right? But you can always reiterate if you want to, but what do you do for work? So, yeah, my name is Kim. I'm 27. My 9 to 5, I work at, at a restaurant downtown Phoenix. I'm a server. Okay. Uh, I'm Dante. I'm 28, and I make music for TV and film. That's what I do. So when you look on, like, BT, VH1, Netflix, like, I'm not going to say those are all my tracks, all my beats, but, yeah, that, that's, that's my line of work. That's what I do. Tony, I'm 28, and I'm in transportation. I drive trucks. 
My name is Luan, I'm 27. I got my own shoe shop and then I got private clients when I drive transportation and then I do security for Burberry. So I make my own money at this point. So I'm growing that business up so I can be financially free with my own money. So, yeah. Ghost. Ghost. Hey, her eyes lit up when Buddy said that because she seen them dollar signs. You feel me? Because I know my boy right here getting to the bag. I can just tell. He getting to that bread. And the other dudes who make beats for VH1 and all of them, he making bread too. I just know, like, I, I need to look up the salary for it, but I know if he get a contract with them companies, bro, they, they paying for sure. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and have you eliminate again based off of what you've heard. Let's go ahead and pop two of those balloons. Well, he, we already know why that was because she don't want nobody who work at a restaurant. But hey, I'm going to tell you all this right now. The tables can turn very, very, very fast. One moment he'll be working at a restaurant, the next moment he'll be the owner of the restaurant. Never judge a person based off of where they are right now. I'm telling you, you never know who they are. You never know their ambition. So I'm feeling, I'm pretty sure she probably rejected him because he were, he's a server now. But you never know. Them tables turn fast, baby. Trust me. Because I went from making 5000 a month to 20000 a month within, well, actually almost 30000 a month within six months. So come on now, them tables turn, believe that. One more. Okay, let's start over here. Why do we end up popping Tony's? Um, that was kind of boring. It was nothing like more. Wait, just, what was like, I just drive trucks. I mean, you asked what I do, that's what I do. Yeah, no, nothing against it. I definitely appreciate it, but like for me, I'm, it's not for me. I get a you young, so like, I, I, I am young, I am young, and it's kind of like boring. Mm. Yeah. And I, I feel like I'm here now, but I'm still gonna grow. Absolutely. And that's just. It's not no, just, speed, just it's hearing okay. that, just hearing that from, with nothing else, no mm. context, nothing else to it, it's just. And what type um, of context you look for when you ask? He <laughs> said, so he girl. said what he's into now, and then he also went like, okay, but I have these goals and aspirations. But that's not what you ask. You ask, what do you do for work? Yeah, he, that's what and you do. And I told do. you what I do for work. What they do currently is okay because they're bosses. I like a boss stature. Not saying okay, that you're so not you, a boss. You, like you, I like to, a somebody digger, who calls the shots. You no, a gold digger? I like somebody who can lead me because I call shots. I need somebody who can call my shots as well. Not saying that you can't, mm -hmm. just like off the response you gave, it wasn't like you can handle me. Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, this is first of all. This, uh, let me tell y'all this. If any woman say, oh, I don't think you can handle me. What woman, come on, what man want to handle a woman? Like you an animal or something. No man, especially on their grind, doing what they do, want to come home to have to handle a woman. Like we handling a freaking dog or something. Come on, bro. And first of all, truck drivers, great salary, great career. And another thing is, man, tell me you want a boss, man. And, and, and you want somebody to call the shots because you caught it. Man, bro, she finna piss me off. Look, I got to keep the video going. So. She, everybody's you. entitled to it, their own opinion. If you feel like I can't handle you, then I can't handle you. All right. Let's go back over there. <laughs> and we did end up popping his balloon. Why did we pop this one? Um, just because I asked a question, not that you had to add anything to it without any elaboration. I don't, it's not like a match. I feel Nothing it. Nothing against I mean, you. So what, like, like he said, you asked what I do for work, like what pays the bills is I'm a server. But if you want to know, like I run a record label, I make music, I, in, I invest in property, I invest in stocks that don't pay the bills right now. So I ain't really want to like throw that out there work I go to work every day you feel me so that's what I do for work but yeah that's how I be trying to tell people you don't know where this man will be at next year your life can change fast like you said he invests one of them stocks might hit he probably be a million at tomorrow you feel me that look them real estate investments he got ain't no telling one of them might pop off you feel me but he still gotta grind and do what he gotta do until he get to that point you don't bro women don't understand Finding a man with potential is probably one of the biggest gems. Look at me. 
My wife found me when I was making $800 a month. Now I'm making $30,000 a month. So I'm telling you, my, and, and I swear on my life, I tell y'all this, bro, 200 family, I tell you this. When my wife first got with me, my wife was in college working on her master's degree. I was an E3 in the military staying in barracks. Her friend told me, why are you date? told her, why are you dating this guy? You feel what I'm saying? Why are you dating this guy? You're out of his league. That's what her friend told her. If she had to listen to her, my wife probably be single right now. And I guarantee she probably wouldn't be with a man who's making as much as I'm making at this moment. But the friend who told her that, I'm not even going to talk about her dude because I don't talk about dudes behind their back. But just know he's way older than me and ain't got close to what I have now. So I'm telling you, them tables can turn, man. All right, so we do have two balloons left. I'm gonna go ahead and have the guys ask you a question. Guys, any questions you have? Okay, let's start over here. So tell me how you feel about a man having kids that's not yours. I actually prefer a man with kids because I have kids myself. And even before I had kids, I preferred a man with kids just because I, my father's in my life and I like to see what type of father you are and if you're actually a father to your children. Oh, okay. So. Can I ask how many? I have two children. Okay, you beat me, you beat me. Well, well, <laughs> okay. But I mean, yeah, uh, you don't smoke cigarettes, do you? No. Okay, cool, cool, cool. How do you feel about, I smoke a lot of weed, like a lot of weed, like. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. You might stop soon, but nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I might. Or slow down. Mm, I don't know. See, like, I, I literally just left, like, the dispo on the way here. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? You may or may not. Okay. Nothing to do with me. That's true. That's true. Okay, cool. Just, just putting it out there. Just, it's one of the things I do. Okay. All, All right. right. We'll be back for you. We did get a pop over here. <laughs> All right. Why did we end up popping our balloon? I hate I had to do it, but just the kids thing, because, like, I've been through that before, and it didn't go well, and nothing against you. It's just the kids going to always come first. You know that? So I just, I'd rather really just start you already from, from scratch. So it's just, I'd just rather really stay out of it this time and not learn from my last mistake. So that's pretty much it. But, you know, you stunned. I ain't going to lie. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, let me bring you on up here. Come on up, come on up. <laughs> All right, guys, so I have a final question if you all have no other questions. What you got? Oh, all right, so my final question is, is it gonna be a yes for you for her? Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm with it, I'm with okay, it. Okay, okay, and is it a yes for you for him? I see what it is, oh. yes, I'm here for it. All right, we got a match! <laughs> All right, I'll take this mic. I know he and better get ready to drop that bag. Hey, y'all go follow me on Instagram, 200 underscore acres. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for what we made it to right now on the channel, man. We just moving up and up and up and up and up and up. And hey, always remember, man, be safe out there, King. See you guys next video, man. Let's get it, man.